Alright, hello Comic Universe, this is DPZ rolling solo once again to talk about another trailer. And yeah, this is for a movie I've been waiting for for a while. Um, this is gonna be the movie that really, like, uh, really makes or breaks the DC movie universe for me. Well, I'll have to wait till Joker, but this is the one, like, this is the one. I know Aqu I said th good things about Aquaman, but I feel like it was a little too MCU for me. I still liked it, don't get me wrong, I still liked Aquaman, but I felt like it was a little too... Um, MCU uh, for my taste, but I will say that it was all, it was like um, um, it, um, it it was a step in the right direction. But this will really cement of how how I will see the DC the DC movie universe from now on. And of course, Shazam! I'm talking about Shazam. Now, Shazam is one of my favorite DC heroes, and I've been loving every trailer. Uh, since its inception, and this is no different, Gu guys. This move, this trailer, once again shows to me that um, this series is just this movie. Why am I saying series? This movie is just nothing short of awesome. This trailer has once again shown to me, and I know so I've seen some complaints like, "Oh, it's a little, too, it's too, it's mo it's too for kids." I'm like, "Then congratulations, you don't get the character of Shazam." If, you know, I've seen a lot of major DC fans, especially major Shazam fans like myself, who have looked at this trailer and went, yeah, every trailer we've seen is the embodiment of this character. Um, every trailer I have seen for this movie has just been shown again and again and again that, they, you know, the director of this film and everyone behind it gets this. Zachary Levi is so great as playing a, a child in a man's body. Um... I really digged it, you know, I'm really digging it. And I also like all the, speaking of digs, I like the little digs at the, um, I really like all the little digs they have at, um, the, uh, DCE, at the DC film so far, like, that, it, like, the moment where Shazam's playing with his powers and he nearly destroys a bus and he saves it, he's like, dude, and Freddy comes up to him and he's like, dude, you nearly, you know, you sopped a, I st he's like, dude, I saved a bus. He's like, yeah, one that you nearly destroyed and threw off the road. And he's like, yeah, but I caught it. So I'm already seeing, like, what the film is going to be is that it looks like what it's going to be about is that um, Billy um, gets the powers and it looks like he may misuse them or not fully understand them. And it's going to be him, lear you know, learning the power, you know, a power and responsibility kind of deal. It's very much him learning power and responsibility and I'm I'm all for that. It's a story we've all seen with a lot of superheroes, including one that she, that crawls up walls. So, you know, we all know that story. But I think it's a, you know, the whole power and responsibility thing is perfect for Shazam. Again, we've seen it with superhero, you know, with multiple superheroes before, but I think it works um, for Shazam because, again, it's a kid living out a superhero fantasy. Uh, so, it's, per you know, it's the perfect guy to use it on. Uh, we also get to see more of Dr. Savannah in here. Um, I know some people are like, why is Dr. Savannah flying around and punching people? Well, isn't he supposed to be, like, Luthor-level genius? And that's true, but I think they're going a little more of what the Je what Jeff Johns did in the New 52. So, I think that's what they're going to be... D I think that's the case, is that they're going to be, um, following that motif, and probably building up to Black Adam. And also... It makes me wonder of, like, um, also, let me talk about something real quick. Um, Funko, guys, you, you really spoiled this. I will say that the trailers are really good at not spoiling anything. You know, not pulling a Sony and sh giving us the last scene, hopefully, um, in the film and make giving out a major spoiler. But, oh my god, Funko, I love collecting your pops. You spoiled a movie for us because you gave us the whole, you showed us all the pop figures that are basically, you know, you basically spoiled for us that there's going the other members of the Shazam family are going to be in here. Oh my God, I would have preferred to have seen that in the mo see that in the movie and get surprised by that because that seems like, but whatever. All right, thanks Funko. I'm still going to collect the pops. By the way, I'm also probably going to um, collect a pop, uh, you know, a Shazam pop because yeah, Shazam's one of my favorite DC characters, so. Of course I'm going to want to collect it, and I'm so excited for this movie, so of course I'm going to want to collect one. Anyway, um, I also like some of the jokes in here. Zachary Levi, and I'm, I'm forgetting the actor's name for Freddy, uh, for Freddy Freeman. So, But I love that moment where he's running from Savannah, and he's like, Save me, Batman! And he throws a Batman figure, like a, like a Batman figure at Savannah. He's like, Save me, Batman! 
Um, I also like that they're, you know, that they're po they're having fun with it. It's very clear that they're having fun with it. Um, they they know the material. It's you know, it shocks me of how well it does. Now, I'm going to say something right now. While I am happy that we're getting a you know a ga a a light-hearted DC film, that's fine. I mean, Aquaman was kind of light-hearted, but you know, it still had its dark moments. Um, here's the thing. While I think the kind of MCU tone fits better for Shazam than it does Aquaman, I will say that I don't. I want DC to keep being experimental. That Joker movie that's coming out soon in October with Joaquin Phoenix, have it is keep, have it be R-rated. Have it be a you know a dark and scary Joker origin film or Elseworld story of how or however they're going to friggin' write it. Um, and yeah, don't be the M uh, DC. Don't be the MCU. Be experimental. That's all I have to say about it, is that DC really could, you know, get something on Marvel on, you know, they already have, like, bragging rights already on two grounds. You, you beat them out with Wonder Woman, you know, you came out before Captain Marvel, so you got the bragging rights to not only a the first female superhero movie, but also one that did very well, and you also did a technically a supervillain movie with Suicide Squad. Again, the results didn't vary, but you got the bragging rights of doing a villain movie and a female superhero movie. So you don't need to be, you know, I'm glad you DC's finally realized that they don't have to play catch up with the with the Marvel with the Mar MCU because that was, you know, a folly idea from the get-go. And doing these one, you know, these standalone franchises is probably for the better for a while. But <clears throat> Here's the thing. I don't want them to, every movie to be like the, D, you know, every DC film to be like the MCU. If I want to see an MCU movie, I will go and watch the MCU movie. You know, I will go watch an MCU movie, and it's just going to, I feel like it's just going to poison the uh, market. I feel like it's really going to poison the market if they just um, copy, you know, the MCU uh, format. I really feel like that would be the case is that they would just um, keep, do you know, it would really hurt the superhero film genre if they just kept doing what Marvel did, and that's just going to, you know, turn people off. The way to keep this, you know, to keep the superhero franchise going, the best way to do it is to be different. You've got, uh, yes, films like the MCU are fine, and they're always, you know, they're going to be needed, but to keep this market alive and fresh is that sometimes you have to break barriers. You have to, you know, go out of the box, like with Logan, like with Deadpool, um, like uh, like with Wonder Woman, like with um, so many other films, and I hope, D and this Joker film, again, this Joker film, you're doing, again, you're DC, you're doing another um, supervillain movie. Yeah, again, something Marvel hasn't done. So do that. That's, you know... That's how I think DC is going to get the edge on Marvel. Not saying that they're going to beat Marvel in the box office. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is to keep them different from Marvel and to keep people in the seats for a DC movie, all I'm saying is to survive against Marvel, you have to be different. I'm not saying they could beat Marvel because at this point they've got it down to a science, so DC, the best chance they have to compete with Marvel is to think outside the box every so often. You know, just think, keep thinking outside the box. Keep, um, you know, experimenting with films. You know, you could do another super. You could do a superhero horror movie with like you could do. Well, uh, you're already doing a horror show with Swamp Thing, and you know you're bringing back Constantine for a show. So maybe I don't know, do a House of Secrets movie or a Legion of Doom movie or something of that degree. You know, something like that would be cool. Um, you know. This Batman movie is going to be like a crime noir story. I'm totally down for that. I'd be fine if it was even an R-rated Batman movie. Um, so yeah, that's all I'm saying. Am I excited that, you know, this is going to be like a fun superhero movie with Shazam? Yeah, because that fits with the tone of Shazam. A dark and gritty Shazam, I would have been completely turned off. But thankfully, that is not the case of what we, we've got here. So there you go. So anyway, guys, uh, you guys tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of this trailer for Shazam? And sorry for that little rant, but I feel like I just need to say that. Anyway, so yeah, did you guys like the trailer? Did you guys hate the trailer? Comment below, let us know. And if you're new here, remember to Hulk smash that subscribe button and be a part of Earth's My subscribers. Also, remember to go back a few videos and check out our giveaway for Detective Comics number 1000. Check out the rules, and you may get a copy of that of a variant cover. Anyway, once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and we will see you right here in the universe.